because I do not want everything to just be doing big, big, big. Hi guys, what's up? How are you? Okay, so this video um is long overdue. I'm supposed to have uploaded this video like since forever because people have been asking me your setup, your setup, your setup because they like what they see. Okay, so um I decided to finally do it. Yeah, actually, some things were delaying, like some obstacles were on the way and um somehow somehow we've been able to take them away so um in this video i will be sharing with you guys all of my filming gadgets and how i set them up to have like the best results also i would be talking um briefly on my gadgets and how to actually set them up and what each um part of the gadget is for if this sounds like something you are interested in you do not want to click out of this video watch it till the very end please get subscribed already so let's get into the video for the sake of this video i decided to pack all of my gears back into their carton i didn't dispose the pack because of this particular video after this video i'm disposing them so these are my gadgets here some of these are not gadgets actually but those that are gadgets, this, 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 and this. So let's get into each of my gadgets right now. This is my ring light stand. I've had it for about two years now. And this is how a ring light stand would come. It's actually bad already because it's quite old. So this is how a ring light stand would come, basically. When purchasing a ring light, make sure that it comes with a tripod so this is what you will find and losing it then you hold this three part or two and just stretch it out you stretch it out and after stretching it out you take it you still continue stretching it and you bend it this way it goes like this so this is how you have this three stuff that are down like this like this so you can make it as wide as you want on the floor or as more as you want on the floor so this is how it is then after that you just like knob it back you tighten this knob back that way it stays firm although this one is no longer as firm as it used to be because it's quite old so after this part you want to elongate this part to make it longer for your video because it obviously cannot be this short when you place your light on it so you look for the first knob down to this side, you loosen it and drag this up to the last part. It won't move again, but you have to be careful. Just drag it gently and you tighten it back. As this, make sure it is tight so it doesn't go down itself. So after this, you see it is now high. So if you want it higher than what it is, you just open the next knob and take it higher. If you still want it higher, you open the you open the last knob and take it higher. So this is how long it is. This is how long it is. I think this is six feet long. So I do not use it up to that because what am I using it for? So this is it. This is it. The way you want it to be, the length you want to work it. So this is how your ring light tripod would come. So let's move over to the next one, the ring light itself. So I use a 12 inches ring light and this was the only light I started with when I started out um, with artificial light. So this was it. Now my ring light is quite bad so I will not be able to fix it directly on the stand but I will show you the arc that I actually use. So the ring light um, knob here got broken like recently I think last month or almost two months ago and i don't know if there's a way to actually repair it so that's why i've not done anything so a ring light would actually come with a phone stand or phone holder but i do not use that anymore so i just put it somewhere that i don't even know where it is again so um my ring light is rechargeable that is it doesn't mean you can charge the ring light it means that it comes 
with a battery so let me quickly um bring the battery for you guys to see it so this is the battery that came with my ring light when i got it it also came with battery charger but the charger is gone the charger got burnt so this is what i have left it came with just one battery not two batteries some would come with two batteries or you have to buy more battery but then again i will not really advise that you get a rechargeable ring light or rechargeable whatever because once this thing is on the highest degree with battery the battery will not last at all so it's just like a waste of money basically if i had known i would not have gotten it but it actually works for me now as my lamp or my yes my lamp when there is no light in the house so this is it it is rechargeable you just fix the battery in there's a tiny hole here you fix it in this way and you own it now this one is for um battery but if it is powered from electricity like cord i would own it the other way like this then this is off in the middle just like this can you see so let me show you this way this is for battery this is for electricity so this is off now this is how it comes this is what makes a ring light rechargeable not like you can charge the ring light itself so that is it to avoid confusion or whatever so let's remove my battery now and um, here yeah, this is the ring light 12 inches ring light aha uh -huh, this is where you power your um you control the intensity of the light of your ring light so let me just show you so if this is on 20 intensity now so i want to increase it to make the light brighter because the light is getting brighter and brighter now it's on 100 if i leave it on this 100 for about say 20 minutes i don't think it would even last up to 20 minutes it will go off <laughs> and battery has been fully charged so you want to like reduce the intensity of it like can you see the intensity has reduced this is it, it is off now zero zero so aside increasing the brightness the intensity of the brightness you can also um in change the color this has white and warm tone so when you want to do that you like tap on this again you can see this is 19 let me put it on 20 where is 20 okay this is 20 now when you want to change it from white to warm tone this actually does so many things this particular knob here does so many things we've used it for increasing and reducing the intensity now it's time to change the tone of the light so you just tap on it now this is still 20 it's, it's because it went off already so you tap on it one more time so it brings out these numbers now you want to increase or reduce it this is the highest and it will be on white so you want to reduce it to give it another color like i'm supposed to can you guys see the tone of the color that is out so it is already on 3200 and let me increase it for you guys so you see let me increase the intensity so you see the color this is the warm tone um it might not be reflecting in the video but this is how it looks like like i can actually let me show you this way this is how the warm tone looks like so let me show you the white one just like this so you can see the difference in the lighting you can see it's changing and changing and changing so this is it basically you can just choose whichever one you want to work with and remember this thing you see the battery is already low it is already low it is about to go off it is about to go off just demonstration it was actually writing full before because when your battery is full it writes full yeah that is if you tap it there are different ways to tap it this one for intensity this one for the warm tone and light tone then this one to check the power you can see e o4 if i leave it on for too long it will just go off the ring light cord that came with my ring light went bad say um about three months after i got it and after then i've changed the cord like three times so this is like the fourth cord i am using for my ring light and this one has been lasting me so far i think since last year 
mid last year or so. I've been using it all late last year, around October here. Yeah. So I got one that is very, very long. So this is the one I use on my ring lights. Now, let me show you how to plug it into your ring light. So there is um, a particular space here. So you just plug it here. Plug this to electricity and it, it comes on. So let me try that. So I've plugged it already and this is it. This is it. Can you see? This is it. This is it. So basically that way. The next thing we would be talking about now is my LED light. So a LED light would usually come with a tripod, of course, just as the ring light. So this is how the tripod of my LED lights came. Yeah. So let's get into it. Yeah. Up here. So this is the tripod of my LED light. I got this um, LED whatever. I will show you when I bring the um, LED light out. So now let's actually open up this LED, um, this tripod. It is quite different from the ring light. But you want to loose it up from here today it still confuses me so you just open it here this is it you open it here get these three stuff out then you open it like this and you come here you can't continue open like this too it can't break so you come here and push it down so let me show you guys again so let me show you is it you open it already then you come here and push it down this is what it actually looks like can you see so you can make it smaller or wider the way you want it to go so this is it basically i want to say it and you tighten it back here so after tightening it back here it's the same way with increasing the length just as the ring light so i just like to increase the length like this basically that's all for the LED light tripod. Now let's get to the next one quickly. Now this is it. This is the LED light that I got Pro LED 600. It is adjustable brightness and color 3200 to 6500. Mind you, a ring light is from 3600 to 5600. Now this one is 3200 to 6500 so this tells you that a led light is far far better than a ring light no cap let's get into the box this is how the led light came this is how it was packed and in here we have the led light accessories so let's get to this part the led light came with two batteries just as the ring light battery that i showed you now this is how it is this is how it is this like this like this like this just like the ring light and make sure to um charge your ring light battery or your led light battery fully well before using it and this is the battery charger this is how the battery charger is usually like yep 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 so this is how you use the battery charger you open this this is what you plug to the um, socket that you are using and you take your battery this way this same part the two stuff inside this two stuff here so you would you want to go like this let me let me show it to you guys you want to go like this like this okay like this and you just want to clip it in now this green light would come on and when you plug it to the electricity it would become red it would stay on red for a long time that means it is actually charging but when it turns back to green as long as it didn't shake it is full that way so let's get to this one this is the led light cord I don't know why it came so short it is actually very very short and it actually gives me issues when i want to use it this is how long it is that's all like can you see it is so short it is so so short i don't know why but i've been using it like that managing it the next thing in the pack and the last thing in the pack is the led light itself the machine apps the power 
So this is it. It's the small leg lights. There's actually there are actually bigger sizes than this, but I got the small one, and this is it. This is how it looks like. So you want to just open your leg like this way, this way, and this way. <laughs> so this is how the LED light is basically. This is the powerhouse. It's the machine as small as it looks. Okay, so this side you can fix the batteries. That is why it came with two batteries. But I've never used the batteries with it because I know that, that those batteries will not last. Ring light has stopped me. This one is not taking two at a time, it cannot last. <laughs> so that's why I do not even use the batteries with it. I use the batteries, all the batteries for my ring lights. And that is just for lamp when there's no light. <laughs> okay, so we have two controls here for the LED lights. Now, this one is to increase or reduce the brightness, the color brightness. That is either the white or the warm tone why this one here is to increase the light low or high this is where you plug the what's it called the cord of your led light and this is where you power it from it has same powering method as the ring light one is for the cord when it is equal is off and the last one is for the battery so basically it is similar to the ring light but this one just adds um, two stops to control it Why the ring light has just one and one battery compartment but this one has two batteries compartments so that is it for the LED light should I power it now so you can see how blinding the light is maybe let's try it out this is it we plug this one here plug this one in so, and one thing i like about this led light stuff is it has this light indicator thing that makes you know if this is actually still working so you just plug it i think i need to raise my extension let's power it so the blue light is on and stable for your led light when you want to like turn it off make sure that you turn it off from here do not remove it from the socket directly it can spoil your led light over time so let's turn it on and it's going to be very very bright like i cannot look at this thing i cannot do i want to blind my eye can you see can you guys see this can you guys see this can you see this can you see this ring light is no way close to this thing like can you guys see this light is blinding my eyes so that is why a LED light is way way better than a ring light in my opinion so let's turn this off right now it has this last thing this is the thing that you need to actually fix it to the tripod without this you can't fix it on the tripod so this is how this one comes you so it has this part here and it has this part here this part this part and this part this particular part is the one that goes into here now this is it you screw it into here this is it so let me just screw it screw 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 and now screwing it so this is what you have then from here you screw this one onto the tripod screw it here gently and gently and gently screw it up to when it gets tight now this is it it is tight now so this knob here is actually to control your led lights to make it balanced in a position that you want I, if I, I want to straighten it now so i have to just like lock it up back now you remember the screen part that we did here you can also tighten it the more with this thing so this part doesn't shake you can tighten it or loosen it up here basically but i prefer to first knob this directly before knobbing everything but it's actually way easier that way because you do not have to hold this when turning it so I think I need to explain this to you guys like this. So this is it. After fixing this one, you can actually like come here and just use this particular thing, this thing turning here to fix this on it. So you just want to put this. 
and like this. You see your LED light is not turning, so this is another way to actually fix your LED light. So there are different ways to fix it. Well, I think the last one I did is more professional maybe, but I use the first method most times or even always because I always dismantle the whole thing from the body when I want to pack it sometimes. So this is basically how to fix up your ring, your LED light and you open it this way, this way. All right, so we are done with everything LED lights now. So let's get to the next filming gadget that I have. This is my tripod. It's a camera camcorder tripod. I got this one for some reasons for some reasons i got it um so that when i get a camera i would not have to buy another tripod it is actually sturdy that is it doesn't shake um your phone would not fall from it like the other tripods i was using that my phone was just falling from almost always so this is the camcorder this is the tripod i don't know the name way thank probably but this is how it looks like like this is how it looks like so it also looks like this it has the front sides to it so it, they wrote some some of the features are on this part of the carton this is it yeah yeah so this is it now let's get into the carton i just did before you guys know i just had to pack it up for you guys for this video so you actually see how it looks like in the pack this is the pack if you want to take a screenshot of it please do take a screenshot of it yeah this is it this didn't come with um a bluetooth shutter i think because of this and this is a six feet sturdy camera tripod yeah so let's get into it it came with this bag that i can easily carry and take it around for travel it is actually not heavy or it is not so heavy but it's actually very very lightweight because when you use this stuff to carry it you would not feel it that you're actually carrying anything basically it is actually lightweight not heavy as it sounds sturdy <laughs> okay it is sturdy but not heavy it is lightweight it is travel friendly as well this is how it is although this stuff got bad recently and i'm just going to tack it back because i can't afford to lose this because that is what makes is i'm um, carrying this actually easier so let's get into the tripod this is my tripod this is my tripod this is my baby <laughs> okay so this is my tripod this is a camera tripod it's actually steady yeah it's a camera tripod but it comes with a phone holder that's why i can use my phone on it if you do not have a phone or if you use a camera to film I recommend this tripod. This is quite easy to open and quite, um, what is it called? Quite tricky. Yeah, let's use that word. So you just want to do it like this and lock it up here. You can lock or open up here. But I like to leave it open. And I just choose where I want first. Then lock it back. Now it has this part you can also use to carry it. That's the good thing about it. It has this thing. You can use it to carry it like this basically what else are you looking for okay so let's get into the legs of this thing let me um, open it back and make it slimmer so these are the legs you can see this is actually even different from the tripod on you might be wondering why there's water on this thing i actually had to wash it because it was actually muddy it fell it fell on the day this thing got bad so it rained that day and it was muddy so i just had time to wash it up today because i've not even been using it since so this is it now you want to make sure that you open this thing right now this is it see this part you just do it like this you see it it's fell itself <laughs> you see this part too open it it comes down itself open it comes down and you have this length. Can you see this? So this one, I like to make it like this. I don't like when the legs of my tripods 
are too white so this is it this is what i am doing here i'm just like unlocking it here when i unlock it or when i lose it it, it can go whichever way and it stops here you can see this stops it this locks it so i like and when it's like it gets wider but i like when mine is not white i just like take it off and lock it somewhere that i am okay with so that's just it basically i think it's it's quite tiny at this way it's quite tiny uh -huh. i like this wideness so after this one if you want it higher than this there are two ways to go about it it's either you open this wall again it's actually six feet long so that you open this one again but i do not use this wall most times at all now this is where it begins this you take this it can't move up because i have locked it so you will, i want to loosen it so i can turn this up now this is it after turning it up after turning it up you have to screw it back you have to tighten it back so it doesn't go down now i tighten it back what's next i want to increase this part i want to make it longer so this is how it is short now this is how i use it so i want to take this one higher instead of using the down part i would use the upper part here now you see this thing is just like whining i it it, it is giving me this cassette vibe where we wind the cassette you get so you just like take it and whine why 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 so this is it basically to so any length you want but it actually has where to stop so this is the highest this can go and it actually works fine for me i don't even need to put it on the highest now this one is okay for me basically so now there is another thing there's another thing if you want this thing to actually stay and not move this way make sure this part is tightened properly if you want it to go down it will go down now let me just hold it you can now loosen it it won't be stay. you can see by the time you put something on it it will just push it back the force of whatever you put on it will push it back so you can see so it is advisable to use this to control it cannot feel like it it can spoil your tripod so i want to just like lock it back so it doesn't go down itself now I've, i'm done locking it basically now let's come back to this part so you see this edge can actually turn when you are filming and you want to check what you are doing after filming a part you want to check your phone instead of standing up hey let me come and check simple thing just turn this one all the way around it can turn 360. so how do you want to do that you see this knob here you losing it when you're losing it don't over losing it though when you're losing it to an extent you can then turn it round 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 <laughs> okay so you just turn it and you check what you did on your phone and you turn it back basically so that is all for the turning of this one 360. now we want to work on this part we want to attach the phone holder to this part now you can see this part is empty this is what you are fixing on this part of the side this part will go inside here and this is how you do it you open this part this one can go open and close open and close so you want to make sure you go like this you open this take it in from here when you put it you want to use this thing to lock it so it stays now let me show you how it looks like here you can see it looks seamless here now this is it for the phone holder you want to actually fix it here and turn it and turn it 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 till it is well tightened don't tighten it onto your phone spurs actually so if you do not want to use this method you can use another method let's remove it now you see this thing here now this thing here is actually like a screw you can unscrew it here just unscrew here and you have it like this you can screw it back like screw it this thing is actually about screw and lock screw and lock screw and lock screw and lock 
once one gets bad. I don't know, there might be an issue. So you can actually fix it up here before going in directly as this. Then you lock it back up. So this is it. This is where you put your phone here like this. So you can put your phone here. Yes. So you can put your phone here in this way or this way. But make sure when you are turning it, you are also making it tight here so your phone doesn't shake when using it. You want to make it as sturdy as possible. So they have put like everything that you need to make your work come out well, everything that will make your filming process way easier. They have put everything there. So now, when you want to film for Instagram, that is in portrait mode instead of um, landscape mode, I prefer to use this part for YouTube. Now for Instagram, you can also use it, but you want to make your filming process way easier than normal. So if you imagine you using this like this, sorry, like this. Now, look at how your phone would be. Your phone is resting on this thing. What if your phone is low when you are using it to film and you want to charge it? Or you want to see yourself with a mirror opposite you. This whole thing is blocking your mirror, obviously. So what do you do? You come here. There is another knob here. Another knob here. This knob, you open it again. And guess what will happen? You flip this. And that's all you see this method here it doesn't work for youtube videos because when you put your phone like this you would not like it probably when you try it you would understand so you turn this back and you fix your phone this way so when you are filming you are seeing this part in your mirror this part is not blocking your phone you can see yourself directly so this is how i use this one when i want to film for instagram for your phone holder you can actually increase and reduce it just like this you can increase it this wide your phone holds it and yeah that's all so this is it for phone if you're using it with a camera you should have seen that already it is way way easier you just remove this this is actually the phone holder like this is it you fix your camera on this thing and that's all that's all basically that's all basically so that is all about the gears so i'm going to show you guys how i maximize this gears for um better quality content let me just screw this back fast fast now let's get to i think that's all yes that is all let us get to my filming space now yeah. So the thing is this, I rearranged my room and if you know before, this table wasn't so close to the wall. It was actually here of the room, this side of the room, closer to the window. So um, because of some things, I had to rearrange my room and let me even show you what the room looks like. The room is even scattered. So this is where my bed is at the moment, like this and like this, like this, like this. So this is my new filming space this table can actually be here it doesn't block anything whatever um so i'm just going to like show you how i set this thing up but first we need our chair here my chair comes here firstly so my chair stays here so that is the chair that i use so i can choose to turn my chair whichever angle i want I can choose to make my chair like this so this is how i usually use my chair so i'm actually here and this is basically how i sit here or i turn the chair like this whichever way i want to so this is my window that is one source of light so i have two other sources of light and here's my tripod led light and the ring light tripod so i have key lights few light but i do not have a backlight so this is how i do it my led light is definitely my key light it is the brightest 
my ring light is my fill light so the key light is basically your major source of light when filming now my led light is my key light so i usually put my key light at the right side because most times i am facing here you do not necessarily have to face your key light directly so not like i'm facing my um key light directly it's just like i am tilted towards that side of my key light so this is my tripod for my phone so whenever i want to use it my tripod is always tilted towards the led light as well because that is my key light now my tripod for led lights um, for ring lights would be like my fuel light so this is like complementing my key light the window and the ring light complements my key light basically because of course the led light is way brighter than the natural light that is coming in here so everything just blends together and gives it a nice um finish so that is why i feel mostly during the day because i want to use that natural light to actually help balance everything so that is why i choose day over night filming so this is how we do it now so i have two extensions basically i have one here and i have another one that is way longer than this short one here that is on my work table so i want to like plug the lights now so let's work with the ring light first so i just put this i place this kind of somehow somehow on my on the tripod stand because of the issue i'm going to show you guys up close so i'm going to bring my extension now this extension is here already on the bed and let's plug my led light my led light is supposed to be way higher than this yeah so let's plug my led light So this is it. I actually like put space between there because I do not want everything to just be doing big, big, big. So basically, let me take this one off my face. So basically, this is what my setup looks like. So I'm just going to power the light so you actually see what it is like. The ring light is on this extension, while the LED light is to that extension because of the shortness issue. So sometimes I like to use one of the lights, warm tone, the other one, a lighter tone. So this is my setup guys my basic setup and this is my tripod where i have my phone i have one phone so that is the phone i'm using to film the behind the scene basically and yeah so this is just it this is me in my abode if you want your videos your content to um have this natural feeling you want to make sure your light is raised higher than you you do not want to it to be on the same level as you are because it should just be doing some shenanigans bouncing shenanigans and you want to avoid that so i think i like this new setup with my table here i can actually put my um candle or my vase my flower vase or whatever i want to use to decorate on this table and it looks great as well because with the new arrangement my shelf cannot show in my videos every time except um in videos that i actually stand and i rarely do stand in my youtube videos as, aside some instagram or tiktok content that i want to film so this is basically my setup so i'm going to fix my phone on this tripod now and show you guys um what it actually looks like so you can actually see the result of this particular setup so this led light has the lighter tone 
why my ring light has the warm tone sometimes i use both on white tones and sometimes i use both on warm tones depending on the mood that i want my video to have so let's come see my face up close with this setup so you guys see how it is and also i would show you the difference of the led light and the ring light i'll show you the difference of the effect of light between these two lights so you know the one you want to go for if i have my way i would actually get two led lights like i would get one more to make this two led lights um but i'm working towards that maybe and yeah i will get another one to actually complement my ring lights especially when i want to film at night because i might get to like filming at night soon so let me um quickly show you guys up close what it looks like and up close when i am actually filming filming for you guys yeah so let me bring my phone closer to me this is how i place my ring light it's actually supposed to go just like this if it were still good and i knob it with this particular thing but now that is bad i just take it this way and place it like this so science cannot finish in this world that we want to go and look for it to heaven i'll be at heaven so let me just fix this on my tripod and we film so guys this is the basic setup and yeah so um i hope you did find this video helpful i hope you have seen how i am able to achieve like quality content with my little setup and my phone my phone type that i use because i've gotten dms from some people saying how do you use an iphone 7 and you get this kind of quality i use an iphone 7 this is my light setup and this is how i arrange the lights basically and i color grade i use in shots and cap cuts up on my phone to edit my videos as you know i have a video on apps that i use and you can use as well i'm going to link it up here make sure to check out that particular video okay so i hope i have been able to fulfill my promise to you guys that i will share my setup for you guys so this is basically how i do it my um tripod is here my led light at the right side as my key lights because i am more tilted to the right side than the side so um my ring, ring lights is here so i hope you did find this video helpful and this is basically the arc lighting arc that i use also i have many other arcs i think that i can think of that i actually do to get better content and all of that so if you want me to make a video on that to share this acts please let me know in the comment section and i will work something out it might take a long time but i will definitely do that so let me know what you think about this setup let me know like i'm glad i finally did this i'm glad i finally did this because i know it would actually be helpful to somebody especially with the old setting up of the gears like opening locking and all of that because when i got mine it actually gave me tough time to get out to set it up so i hope this video has been an eye opener for you and i hope you you learned something so there's something i didn't talk about and that is my mic so i don't know i almost forgot about it probably because i am using it at the moment i used to use a boya mic and i decided to switch to this wireless mic and it has really been awesome you can see the difference in the audio quality so far and it is quite easy because i do not have wires going up and all over the place so um i actually got it for vlogs but i think i even prefer it for my sit down videos as well so you just need to charge up the wireless mic and you are good to go so this um wireless mic comes with so many things and it's actually it's been an amazing mic basically it has the receiver the sender the cord to charge it's a type c um charger cord it is compatible for iphone and type c phones whichever one you use this mic is actually very good for you but i do not think it works with 
an android because i don't know if there's a way you can use the um receiver to actually connect it to an android phone but i do not think so it is specifically made for iphones and type c smartphones so let me know what you think about it so before we go we are going to do um difference in the lighting comparison so right now i'm going to turn off all the lights i'm going to turn off both lights that's all the lights that i mean and you would see it with natural light then we bring on the key lights we bring on the fuel light then i would also like turn on just one light so you actually see the difference between a ring light and a led light so you know the one that you want to go for so let's do that right now i'm not staying directly in front of the window of course but it is quite okay so right now this is what natural light looks like without artificial light so right now we are going to move um to on the key light which is this part and after that we are going to turn on the fill light so this is the result of both lights brought together as one i hope you do like it so right now i'm also going to show you guys the difference between um both lights the ring light and the key light the fill light and the key light so you know the difference actually yeah so right now the key lights would be going off now this is it with just ring light so you can see um the difference this is just ring lights now i'm going to turn off the ring light and go back to the fill light so you can the key light i mean now we are going back to the key light which is this now this is actually the difference between the led light and the ring light so you actually have to choose your fight or for me it's led light over ring light if i have my way i'm going to get another led light so actually like complement everything together so that i can actually film at night because it's more quiet at night for sit down videos so if i want to just switch up my sitting arrangement it is very very easy this is the same thing that i do let me turn on my ring light sorry so it is the same thing that i do but i actually like this angle to film my youtube videos because i do not have so many distractions going on at the back so let me know what you think about this video if you found it helpful remember to leave a comment like this video give it that big thumbs up that is how you like it and share this video with someone else remember to subscribe as well thank you so much for watching this video up to this point you are the real mvp O'Shea. thank you so much guys and i will catch you up in my next video bye